Welcome to Align Christ-Centered Yoga. My name is Linda and I'll be guiding our practice today. This practice is a memory verse flow, so we'll be memorizing scripture to connect it with breath and movement. Today's scripture verse comes from Paul's letter to Timothy, his letter to a new leader in the church, and Paul's letter contains this statement of faith. There is one God and there is one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. And the verse after it, who gave himself as a ransom for all, which is the testimony given at the proper time. So our memory verse today is 2 Timothy verse 5. There is one God, there is one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. I believe it's important to know what you believe. And this statement, this one small verse has it all. We believe in one God, not many gods. And with that one God, this, our creator God, um, the spirit that lives within us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, there is one mediator between God and us. We recognize our need for a mediator. We recognize that we are not holy, that we do sin, and that our holy God cannot be in the presence of such sin. But we have a mediator, the Son, Jesus Christ. God came down from heaven. He sacrificed himself on the cross. He uh, conquered death. He conquered evil. And in that, he reconciled us with our Father God. There is one God. There is one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. Today's flow will be a balance flow. So we're actually going to start um, lying down on the mat today. So I invite you to come down to extend your body fully the same way you would in Shavasana. To find your breath here, one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly. And just take a few deep breaths here, centering yourself, letting the day fade away. Finding this breath that moves down the body with the inhale. So as you take this deep breath in, you're filling the lungs and you're expanding the rib cage and the belly is rising with breath. Really notice the way the body is connected to the mat. Feel the response of the body and mind to breath. Invite the Holy Spirit to guide your practice. Your breath, your movement, your mind. Let the hands come down to the mat and begin to just kind of wiggle the feet back and forth and you know, maybe flex and point the foot. And then flex the foot, pressing the heels away from you, engaging the muscles of the calves, engaging the muscles of the thighs. Imagine the knees. As you draw the belly in, begin to find a more neutral position of the spine. So a natural arch of the back. A connection with the middle of the back and the upper back with the mat. Open the fingers wide, palms up. Go ahead and turn your head side to side from the top of one ear to the top of the other. And maybe tuck your chin down and come to the back of the head looking behind you. And then settle at center. And find your mountain pose here. Feet hip width apart pushing towards one edge of the mat, head floating towards the other edge of the mat, body strong in the middle. There is one God, one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. Just connecting here, heaven to earth. Relax the body. Keep the right leg straight. Bring that left foot up to the inside of that right knee. It's still um, hip width apart. And just gently come out to the side and back up a few times. So check in here. Can the leg move independently? Can the hip stay on the mat? What is your range of motion here? Here, let that knee come down. Bring the foot to the inside of the thigh and find your tree pose. 
So with a deep breath, can you anchor into the mat? Straighten out that right leg, push that foot away from you. Keep this left foot off the knee. So create the traction between the thigh and the knee. Bring hands to heart and hands overhead. So as you bring your hands overhead, keep them wide, palms facing in towards each other, thumbs to the floor, begin to drop the shoulders towards the hips. Notice how the body has responded to this. Are you starting to arch your back? Rooted in faith, find the tree pose. Bring the hands out to the side, bend that, um, bring that knee up, shift the hips a little bit towards the left, and with the, foot, the inside of the knee, begin to bring that left knee over the body. Begin to find your twist here. So again, checking in, noticing how the body is responding this morning or this afternoon. Feeling the breath flowing freely through the body, even in the twist. And then again, imagining that you are standing in this, pressing that foot away from you, lifting the body out of the hips, anchoring with the core muscles of the abdominals, noticing range of motion as the head looks away from the knee. Exhale, come back to center. Bring both knees in, give yourself a hug and rock side to side. I'm going to repeat that in the other side. So that left leg will extend, arms out to the side, feet hip width apart, begin to gently just drop right knee down and up a few times. You know, can you do that without moving the body? What is the range of motion on this side? And then as you're ready, just let that knee come down to the mat. Slide the foot up a little bit, bring it to the inside of the leg. And again, maybe you even need to help it here. This foot, for whatever reason, didn't really come above the knee. Press the foot into the leg, the leg into the foot. Extend this left leg so that it's straight, heel pushing away. Again, finding a little bit of length in the neck as the head rises up. Finding your tree pose, saying the scripture verse. There is one God and one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. And here, gently bring the hands to heart, thumbs to sternum. Again, noticing the way that the back is still connected to the mat. Bring those arms overhead and bring the arms a little bit wide, drawing the shoulders towards the hips, palms facing in. Thumbs touching the floor, if that's your range of motion. And again, just recreate this tree pose here. Bring the arms out to the side, float the foot to the um, hip width apart again, or actually bring the foot to the inside of that right knee, and gently begin to drop this right knee across. So the foot's on the inside of the left knee. Getting my rights and lefts mixed up here. So find the twist here. You know, maybe the hip shifts slightly towards the right to create a little more comfort in the back. Make the stretch work for you. And imagine that you're standing in this. So this bottom leg is strong and engaged. Core muscles are supporting the twist. Back and that one side of the hip are anchored to the mat, the upper back. And notice the range of motion in the head and the neck. As you're ready, come back to center, bend both knees, give yourself a little bit of a hug, rock side to side. Bring the feet down long, stretch the arms as long as you can. And then bend both knees. Press into that right foot, bring the left ankle across that knee. So the left knee is out to the side. You've created a triangle. Find a neutral position of the spine, a small arch of the lower back, and begin to bring those legs up to you. 
This um, back leg bent at a 90 degree angle. Maybe the hands are behind the thigh. Maybe one hand is on that front thigh, just gently encouraging that knee away from the body. Say the scripture verse. There is one God, one mediator between God and mankind, the man Christ Jesus. Stay here for one more breath. Bring that right leg down and just cross that left leg the rest of the way over. Bring the arms out to the side. Bring the left arm underneath the right. Create eagle arms here. So the elbows are going to rise up towards the ceiling. Forearms away from the face. Begin to drop the shoulder blades down. Engage through the abdominals. Left foot can actually twist around the leg. And Maybe it can't, right? What is your ankle mobility? Just noticing, you know, what is your eagle pose going to look like when we stand up? And maybe you even flex that bottom foot. And exhale and unwind. Feet hip width apart. Gently just drop the knees in together. Walk the feet out to the edges of the mat. Take a restorative breath here. Letting the body come back to neutral position. And gently toe heel your feet in, hip width apart. So recreating that sequence. This time it's the right ankle that comes across the left knee. Maintaining that small arch in the back, engaging through the core muscles. Maybe the legs come up to be a little closer to the head. And again, you know, how are you holding on here? Maybe that right hand presses into that right thigh, gently guiding it away. And just find breath. And as you're ready, just let that left foot come down to the mat. Cross the right leg the rest of the way over, hands out to the side. This time it's the right arm that comes under the left. Elbows rise a little bit towards the chin. The forearms move away from the face, and then the um, shoulder blades are going to anchor down into the back. Engaging through the abdominals, maybe that top foot wraps around the ankle. Maybe the bottom foot flexes. How does your eagle feel? What sensations do you notice? Unwind, bring the feet out, the knees together. Again, a restorative breath here. And then feet hip width apart, bring the knees towards the um, armpits, just towards the shoulders, feet pressed up, hands underneath the thighs, roll up to sitting and roll back. So you're just going to massage out the back a few times here. And then as you're ready, come up to sitting, cross your legs in front of you, hands to heart, check in and notice the effects of those balance poses on the mat. How does the body feel? How is the breath moving? What is your mindset? Say the scripture verse. There is one God and one mediator between God and mankind, the man Christ Jesus. Exhaling, come to table. So go ahead and spread your fingers wide. I'm going to adjust my microphone here. Spread your fingers wide, wrists underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Find length in the spine. Go ahead and just round your back up into cat. And arch into cow. So back and forth here, warming up the muscles of the back. Connecting this cat-cow sequence with the scripture verse. There is one God. And there is one mediator between God and men, the man Christ 
Jesus. One more time, cat to cow. As you're ready, just meet me at center. Go ahead and come into a kneeling plank from here. So maybe the hands reach a little further forward, curl the toes underneath, raise the um, thighs up towards the sky with the knees so the legs are straight. Find your mountain pose here. And again, what's the dorsiflexion of the feet? Can the shoulders stay over the wrists? Feel the work in the core muscles. And then exhaling, press the heels back, find downward facing dog. So bend the knees, find length in the upper body and the arms. Begin to pedal through the feet. Inhaling, lift the heels high. Exhaling, heels come to the mat. Take a couple of breaths to check in here. I'm just noticing how this feels today. And then drawing the gaze forward, just bring the feet in between the hands. Again, knees deeply bent. Find this first forward fold. So you're going to hold on with the elbows, knees connected to the thighs, and gently just rock the body side to side. Extend through the spine and let the back of the head come towards the mat. And then as you're ready, hands to shins, rise up halfway. Exhaling, come down. And pressing through the feet, rise all the way up, saying the scripture verse, there is one God. Palms together, hands to heart. One mediator between God and mankind. The man, Christ Jesus. So let's find our mountain pose here. So feet hip width apart. Turn your heel to your instep. Pivot on that big toe. Toes are facing forward. Feet are parallel to each other. Go ahead and shrug your shoulders all the way up and then let them drop. Begin to engage the muscles of the legs, drawing the knees up towards the hips, drawing the belly in, the navel in and up a little bit. Bring the arms all the way up to find that mountain. Out to the side, step into that right foot and find your tree pose. So that left foot may start below the knee. Maybe it comes up above the knee. There's hands reaching out side to side. Arms rising, shoulders stay low. Imagine that your back is still on that mat. Again, connecting heaven and earth. Jesus, bringing us into the arms of the Father. There is one God, and there is one mediator between God and mankind, the man Christ Jesus. Hands to heart, go ahead and let the foot come down, shake everything out. Same thing, other side, go ahead and step into that left foot. Anchor through the abdominals, drop those glutes down just a little bit. Right foot in underneath the knee, maybe above. And if you're not steady, that's okay. I mean, you know, you're on your own at home. Maybe you find a chair or something or a wall that you can use as kind of a little bit of um, support. Arms rise, anchor in through the abdominals, find your tree pose. Again, just thinking about the range of motion, you know, how far did that knee go back when you were on the mat? Probably not going to go any further back here if your hips are square to the front. Hands to heart. Shake everything out. Press into the right foot. Hands out to the side. Just float that left foot up to the inside. And then begin to bring that knee across the body. Bring the arms, um, right arm to the outside of that left leg. And then let the hand come down to give yourself a little more support. So you create some traction here as the um, thigh presses against the hand, the hand presses against the thigh. 
push down into the mat at the base of the big toe, the little toe, and the heel. Maybe feel the arch of that foot rising up a little. Exhale and release, shake it out. Stepping into the left foot. So really anchor in, again, creating that triangle of support, the base of the big toe, little toe, and the heel, trying not to rock out or in, supinate or pronate. And let's just float this right foot up to the inside of the knee, begin to float that leg across. Arms up, anchor through the abdominals, find your twist. Whoops. <laughs> Try again. So your focal point changes. When your focal point changes, sometimes we lose our balance. Hand comes across the thigh. Let the shoulders relax. Lift the body up and out of the legs. Find the twist. And as you're ready, release and shake it out. Deep breath in. Find your mountain pose. Let's you know, just kind of let the body release as we find a forward fold. Hands to shins, come up halfway. Exhale down. Find your strong plank. Stay there and say the scripture verse. There is one God. And there is one mediator between God and mankind. The man, Christ Jesus. Curling the toes under, go ahead and find that downward facing dog, adjust the body. Again, I recommend feet hip width apart so that there's no compression of the lower back. Pressing the fingertips forward, letting those heels just go to wherever they go, noticing the flexibility of the legs. And then gaze forward, go ahead and bring the feet in between the hands again. Say the scripture verse, hands to shins as you rise up. For there is one God. Forward fold. There is one mediator between God and men. Come all the way up. The man Christ Jesus. Hands to heart. Take a couple breaths and just check in. Again, noticing the effects of those balance poses on the body. The heart rate. The breath the temperature, the way the feet are connected, and shake everything out. So finding those other two poses that we did on the floor, pressing into the right foot, that left foot comes up, flex it and bring it across. Again, the body's just gonna lift a little bit up and out of the hips. So we created our number four here. Bring the hands forward to counterbalance Begin to sink the hips, you know, maybe coming down to that 90 degree angle. Maybe this is where you stay. Maybe the hand presses that leg down a little bit more. If you're very flexible, now that you have um, gravity helping you, you know, hands to heart, you can hinge at the hips and bring the body a little bit closer to that leg. A very deep hip stretch here. Adjust the pose for your hips. As you're ready, rise up. Exhale, hands down, shake it out. Step into the left foot. Deep breath in, anchor through the abdominals, find that focal point. The right foot will come across. Right? So there's a tendency sometimes to draw the hips you know, to help the, the knee go back by moving the hips. Keep those hips square. Arms forward to counterbalance. Finding whatever squat is right for your hips and knees. And whatever stretch is right for that hip. You know, maybe you stay here. Maybe it's different. Maybe you stay here on this side, but you didn't on the other or vice versa. And maybe you come all the way forward. And just find your breath. And as you're ready, release and come up. Arms rise, shake it out. So our final balance pose of the day, finding eagle. It's another squat pose. Go ahead and float that right foot. 
bring the arms out. Again, find the focal point. It's really important for this one. Um, so you're going to look straight ahead to the horizon. That left leg is relaxed. That left arm comes under the left, um, the right arm. So my left arm is underneath. Elbows rise, forearms away from the face. Drop the shoulders. Sink the hips. Go ahead and float that left leg up and over. Maybe the foot wraps. Find your eagle pose. Stay here and say the scripture verse. There is one God, one mediator between God and mankind, the man Christ Jesus. Exhaling, come up, shake it out. And same thing on the other side. So you're going to step into that left foot. Float the right foot, arms are out. Bring that right arm underneath the left. Elbows rise, forearms away from the face. There's often a tendency to kind of angle those elbows in. Shoulder blades drop. I have a tendency to stick my hips out, draw the belly in, begin to find the squat. And maybe that right leg floats up. Maybe the ankle wraps. What does your ego look like and feel like today? Can you say the scripture verse on your own? If you're ready, unwind and rise. Shake everything out. Find your final mountain pose. Exhale, hands to heart, and check in. Taking a deep breath in, arms rise. Exhaling, forward fold. Hands to shins, rise up halfway. Say the verse, there is one God, forward fold. There is one mediator between God and mankind. Find your plank, the man Christ Jesus. Draw the knees down, draw the hip creases back, your first child's pose in this practice. Come back up to table, child to table one more time. And find your child's pose settled here. And again, adjust the legs for you. Maybe those knees come a little wider or a little narrower. Adjust the hands. Palms might be down. They might be up. Arms might be um, at your sides. Your hands might be behind your feet. What feels good? And finding surrender today to Jesus, who for the joy set before him went to the cross, knowing that we would be forever reconciled with him. There is one God. There is one mediator between God and mankind, the man Christ Jesus. Gently press into your hands and come up. Come to sitting. Go ahead and extend the legs long. Find Shavasana. Lying flat for a moment and check in here. Just think about where you were when you started today, how the body feels now. And let's release the body just a little bit more. Go ahead and bring your knees in for that hug. Rock side to side. to knees, begin to just circle the knees around on the sacrum bone. And 
And gently go the other direction. And as you're ready, knees come into the rib cage and away, back and forth here. One foot down and then the other, extend the legs long. Windshield wiper the feet, wiggle the hips. Bring the hands up to the sky, palms facing in, let the shoulders thump down. And as you're ready, let the hands come down to your side. Again, just feeling this connection from heaven to earth. This gift that God gave us when he removed our sin with his sacrifice. If you can stay here a little longer, I invite you to do so. But otherwise, eyes still closed. And reconnecting with the breath, begin to bring movement back, wiggling fingers and toes, rotating wrists and ankles, turning your head from the top of one ear up and over to the top of the other. Taking a deep breath in, bring arms up and overhead and just stretch as long as you can. And then gently as you bend your knees, roll over onto your side. Just support your head with your arms. Stay here for a breath. And pressing into your hands, rise up to a sitting position. So again, legs just crossed comfortably in front of you, finding your sitting bones. Checking in, body, mind, and soul, noticing, remembering where you were when you came to the mat today, noticing where you are now, what has changed, what has stayed the same, accept it as it is. Taking a deep breath in, arms rise, palms together, exhaling, hands to heart. Find breath and join me in prayer. Creator God, Father, Son, Spirit, you are our God. We worship you, we surrender to you, and we thank you for the price paid for each of us, that we may be fully reconciled to you, that you will never leave us or forsake us, and that your spirit will live within us and guide us forever. It is in the name of Jesus the Christ that we pray. Amen. Thank you for practicing with me today. <laughs>